Welcome to Make It Happen Monday, your weekly dose from the Healthy Living School. As always, I want to first remind you to enjoy, E-N-J-O-Y. Enjoy is our Make It Happen Monday mantra, as well as our go-to acronym, E, eat real food in 12 hours or less daily, N, nurture your microbiome, J, join me in moving daily, O, optimize your breathing, and Y, yes to restorative sleep. Today's tip focuses on eating for brain health. Flavonoid-rich foods recently landed a major brain health win in the scientific literature. Flavonoids are plant-based compounds already known for their potent antioxidant and anti-inflammatory prowess, as well as their propensity to enhance the growth of good gut bacteria. For this long-term study, Researchers evaluated the cognitive function of 2,800 middle-aged and older adults just prior to the study. They were all normal to start. Then every four years for a period of 20 years. At every cognitive evaluation, so every four years, each study subject also filled out a detailed dietary questionnaire regarding their intake of various flavonoid-rich foods. The results, study subjects consuming higher levels, meaning those in the 60th percentile or higher, of three specific families of flavonoids, namely flavanols, anthocyanins, and flavonoid polymers, were two to four times less likely to develop dementia, to include Alzheimer's, versus those with the lowest intakes, meaning those in the bottom 15th percentile. Stated another way, those consuming the least flavonoids were two to four times more likely to develop dementia. Of the three flavonoid families, anthocyanins think foods with those lovely deep red, purple, blue hues like berries and plums were linked to the greatest risk reduction at fourfold. What's more, the specific food intakes needed to place study subjects in the higher intake zone were deliciously doable. For reference, here are the specifics. Anthocyanins, seven and a half cups of berries, any variety a month. Flavanols, eight apples and eight pears a month. Flavonoid polymers, 19 cups of tea, green or black a month. What is my take? These are all delicious foods that are readily available, so make them a standard part of your diet. Frankly, after learning this, how could you pass them up? Oh, oh before you go, I am thrilled to share that I'll be releasing a brand new signature e-course, Dr. Rand's three-step solution this February. Thanks to this message, I am feeling more energized professionally than ever. One of my greatest strengths and greatest pleasures is simplifying the complexities of all the science into the action steps that truly matter. Keeping those steps to as few as possible while always staying true to the best and most up-to-date science. With this new program, I know I have knocked it out of the park and I'm so excited. <laughs> I can tell you with total honesty and humility that it has been almost a decade since I felt this eager to share a new program with the world. In fact, despite having written six books earlier in my career, with the last one written about eight years ago, I have felt zero impetus to write another book until now, meaning I feel so strongly about the power of this simple message to transform health and even reverse disease, I may write another book. And that is saying a lot because writing is incredibly challenging for me. Love to speak, writing, not so much. This new program is as simple as its title, Dr. Ann's Three-Step Solution. So make it easy and join me this February for three steps that will rocket you to health and vitality. Stay tuned for details on social media and my Make It Happen Monday video tips.